This is Matrix Lord 212. Hello, everybody. All right, so I'm having cereal now. It's over, it's past 3 13 in the morning. Uh, I was playing Blood Waves, I got up to wave 25. So I'm a few trophies away from the platinum for that for PS4. I do like Blood Waves because, like, you have to put effort into it. You can't just get a trophy like that. You have to, like, really, really try to do the waves. And sometimes you can't. So, like, I like putting, like, the traps around, like, the the thing that gets the zombies in the gear, like, turns them around. I also like the spinning thing that chops them up. And I like all the weapons. So I have all the weapons now. Um, and I like to put barriers around so that way they can get stuck there in case I run into trouble. Um, so it relaxes me to play that zombie game. Uh, and I, I really love it. I, I Since I, I saw the trailer for it, I had to buy it. I think it's a great investment for $9.99. Some people have been blasting the game. I don't because, you know, sometimes you have to de-stress. And I really enjoy playing that game a lot. Even if I got, like, all the trophies, I'd probably still play it anyway. So there's that. Then there's also the complex for PS4, which... I'm two trophies away from having all the endings. And then there's another two trophies, I think, um, where one everybody dies. And then another trophy where you have 50% uh, that people like you, I guess, of all the characters. So that's probably going to get platinumed also. I'm off tomorrow. So I'll probably do that. Um, I'm really looking forward to when comic books come back. It's been driving me nuts that I can't read anything new. Um, and I've been trying to reach out to, you know, JHU to get some new books. So, like, to get, like, see if they have some books I missed. I haven't heard from them. Uh, and I reached out to Hypnotronic Comics, so I'm probably going to get more stuff there, too. Uh, but I'm dying for comic books, man. I'm dying. It's like, I need stuff to read. So, um... Not sure what's going to happen with the status of the comic book stores like the end of the month. I know that they're supposed to be getting new comics, so we'll have to see. But a lot of the comics that I get, they kind of made it digital only. So that kind of pisses me off because now you just cut my collection in half. But then again, maybe I can get new books. I don't know. Um, podcasts, we'll probably have to do a Real Hovian's cast a couple we got to cover the Tom Lord Victorious. Also, I was talking to David Blythe in Facebook Messenger about the Timeless Child. And, you know, I said it should be merely the master, not the doctor. Because, you know, that would be fitting that he just wants to kill everybody all the time because he was tortured in life. You know, the first time was kept killed by the adopted mother and regenerated. And then when they erased his memory and then he looked into the untempered schism, whatever, he went crazy again. So it's rarity that, you know, someone goes crazy twice. Of course, you don't remember it the first time. So, you know, it would make sense that the time the child is the master, um, especially since you don't even know what other abilities the time this child had. And like I said, the master kept coming back to So that's another thing. The other timelines don't have that ability, so. Uh, yeah, you know, how is life? Well, I mean, the other day I got Domino's Pizza. I mean, I've been working every day. Now hours are getting cut, so that sucks totally. Uh, you know, I could enjoy it, having an extra day off two here and there, but eventually that's going to cause a problem financially. Um, I'm going to have to get another job, I'm not sure. But um, we'll see what happens. I'm not really crazy about losing hours, but um, the movie Tenant, if it doesn't come out, they're saying that all these movies are going to get delayed and this year is going to be a bust. I really hope that the movie theaters reopen before July 17th. I hope, you know, we can get back into the groove with that and especially the other businesses because the other businesses are struggling. You know, the restaurants especially, because people do just like to sit and eat. If you can't do that, they don't like to, you know, a lot of people are starting to cook more than order. Because, you know, it's a very it's more expensive when you order, obviously. So, you know, people are cooking more. People are just, 
learning to do stuff at home more than go out. And some people just don't want to go out at all. Some people just don't, you know, they fear everything with COVID. So they just don't want to even go to restaurants or nothing, no water. They don't want to have anything delivered. So uh, it's a weird situation. Um, I just hope places reopen. We can go back to normal. I don't like the status of the new norm and the whole bull crap. I'm tired of the masks. Although I know we have to wear them. I do wear them. Um, I wear them when I go out. I wear them when I'm at work. But I'm just, you know, I complain about it, but I wear it. So, I mean, that's the whole thing. Even when I, when I leave the house, I put them on because I don't know if I'm going to, you know, if you're going to get it when you're outside anyway. So, you know, it, it sucks, but, you know, I wear it. Um, what else is going on? Um, I was supposed to get my Weeping Angel mug today. Never arrived. So hopefully tomorrow. All right, guys, that's it for my rant. Take care. Bye for now.